my name is John Michael Hamlet. I'm owner and operator of Buena Diaz uh, Quesadillas. We do globally inspired gourmet quesadillas. And this is my new truck um, through El Haj uh, Restaurant Food Truck Custom Food Truck Group. And uh, it's been a great experience. They really helped me out. They took me from one truck that only had a griddle to now a truck that has all the equipment I need to take care of everything with inside my truck. I don't need to use my commissary for cooking anymore. Um, just use the commissary for the health department reasons. Other than that, um, it's uh, it's a self-sufficient uh, facility here. I've basically got a whole kitchen, a whole restaurant within my truck. So, you know, I'm excited. And uh, it's a great space for one person to use and not have any employees and keep my labor cost down and focus on the food and make sure that my customers are getting the highest quality product um, in the fastest possible time and uh, you know I really really enjoy it and I'm super happy that uh, I'm here and happy that I can have this truck and El Haj was a, a great help. Uh, when I started two years ago you know I, I had high expectations for the business um, and for doing a lot of uh, money every day going out and serving uh, one of the challenges I ran into though was uh, advertising, making sure that advertising and marketing was done right. Um, that uh, the word was getting out to office buildings that I would go to so we would get the right, right amount of clients a day. Um, you know, the biggest challenge I think is, is getting the right gigs, um, booking the right functions where you don't have too many trucks and too much competitive competition going on uh, at your spots. And, uh, really consider working by yourself um, and coming up with a concept that will, uh, will work with one person because my biggest challenge was finding reliable help from people who could help you. Um, family is great. The uh, family always comes in and helps out um, and could be free labor <laughs> or um, you know it's just really hard to do things with other people and having to depend on them when this is your passion and your love and your baby. Um, I, I wouldn't put my baby in someone else's hands. So um, biggest challenges were uh, just making sure you're going to the right spots, checking up on your concept, and making sure that you, uh, if you do hire people, that they are quality and reliable. Some of the great things that have happened to me with the food truck is uh, I was invited to a food truck battle, a Virginia food truck battle, uh, down in Stanton, Virginia. They run it every year. Um, so the more gigs you do, the more you, the word gets out. Word of mouth for a food truck is very, very important. Um, so the more people you get talking about your business and talking about your product and your food, uh, the better. Um, going down to that food truck battle, I was battling it out with food trucks from all over the state, and uh, you, you win first. You, know, you win prizes, and people get uh, exposure to your truck uh, throughout the state, and then you, you know, the, the word of mouth really blows up. So. Um, getting the right gigs, going to the right festivals, going to large functions, and the more people you see, the more word of mouth you get.